Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Fading Hearts. Uh, at the last, end of the last episode, we were just about to be attacked, so let's go ahead and make ready for that, shall we? Right. Do love the carrots and tomatoes, I've got to be honest. I think that's looking, that's great. Oh, and the cabbages as well, that's looking great. Do we have any in store? Not yet. Oh, we do. Nope, that's a strawberry. They look good. They look good. I love, do like the redesigned artwork for this, but right. Getting ahead of myself. Okay, so not Emmy. Let's draft the rest. Get them out here. We shall hide behind these pillars and hope this is not a mistake. Because I'm not entirely sure. Would have been nice to have a chance to finish the defenses, but that would have taken a lot of fun out of the game, I think. We're in there. I don't particularly like the way they all hang around waiting for one person to go through the door, the door to close, and then another one comes through, and so on. We go there, and Galga, where are we going to put you? Why don't you go there, and let's see how that works out. Yep, yeah, they're coming. Let's speed time up a little bit. Give them a chance to get down here. So, Emmy's making us some food. And what's Emmy doing now? Because I don't think I want you wandering through the fire zone. Hoarding steel. Why not? If they get down here before we get back, I'll just have to hide you somewhere. And it looks like they're going to get down here before they get back. Okay, right, we're going to draft you and hide you around the corner there for now. Let's see how we get on here. Alright, Galga, okay, Galga's shooting at that guy, alright, that's okay, let's move you here. And Clara, let me get you a little bit closer to the action here. Colonist needs rescue, so we've got to make sure that they don't take him. I think we're going to be alright, about... Hardina back over here. Clara, if you would go here. Grilla men are freeing. Yes, I think we're going to be alright here. We haven't lost anyone. And we've got a potential few extra um, prisoners here. So, do we have any spare rooms? Occupied, 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 occupied. Mm, let's put some temporary prisoner beds in here. One, two, three, four. Don't think we're going to need that many, but it's not like they cost us anything. And let's have a quick look at these guys. Okay, so incapable of dumb labour. Uh, a reasonable miner. Fairly good at artistic and crafting. Yeah, we'll have him. Capture Spiffy. And this guy here. Commissar, so he's going to be reasonable at shooting. Yeah, that's fairly good. Incapable of nothing. I think we will have him. Um, capture him. Um, Galga, would you please rescue Ben? What does that leave us with? Leaves us with a body. Oh. Sandra after you. Um, yeah, good. Nobody's going to attack you. That's excellent. That could have gone badly. But we got some new weapons out of this, which is excellent. And Dina, what do you have at the moment? Right, you can equip that M16. That's excellent. Strip him. 
and I don't seem to prioritize holding him. What's going wrong here? Hedina uh, as a holder. Oh, hold on. That's why. Let's get that body out of the way. That way nobody's going to be offended by it. Hmm, that's a fairly good run. Get all this stuff unforbidden. Okay, right. Yeah, back to what we were doing. So, first things first. Mm, let's get this kill zone sorted out because it's potentially dangerous now. So, let's get all that hauled. And actually, let's get a floor put down in the center area as well because that's going to make it easier for us in the short term, not worrying about. Uh, trees and things like that. Mental break soon. Clara. Oh. Sun draft you too guys and you can do what you want. Um now okay. Alright. Let's look at the prisoner here. So Try to recruit, gets medicine, friendly chat, and this one. Try to recruit, gets medicine, friendly chat, excellent. And we should actually make these beds medical as well, so. There we go, right. Excellent, right, so that's that sorted out. Next step is to get this room sorted out. And yeah, they could finish off setting up the uh, crafting stuff here. Smithing bench. What we do with the smithing bench? Head bill. Don't really need any of that at this point. And a tailor's workbench. I want a cowboy hat. Just the one. And let's not make it out of cloth. Got plenty of leather. So let's ask for a, a leather cowboy hat. And that we can you can give to our social person because it'll increase their skills. How are we doing? Getting some stuff hauled here. Who's our who's a good fighter? Her Dina is probably our better fighter there. Everyone looks at the stats. Who's our doctor? Galga is our doctor. Uh, where is Galga? Galga is actually doing some work there. That's good. We've got plenty of medical kits. People did get quite hurt there, unfortunately, but it's not the end of the world. Right, you equip that. That's it. <sighs> Let's get things up to speed again quickly, shall we? See if he's getting good treatment. I'm mildly bothered with the fact that they treat the prisoners first. Personally, I think treating the uh, the colonists would be better for us in the long run. Uh, it's not the end of the world. All right, so what you state are you guys in? So you still need treatment. As to you, as to you. Uh, Galga, where are you? Alright, sorry, can't let you sleep just yet. Um, treat Ben first. Because he's the closest to being no more. Yeah, it's a bit bit wrong. It just strikes me as as being slightly the wrong balance, where the the doctor will treat the prisoners and then go to bed. Lau has developed an infection. Lau has developed. Lau has developed two infections. How very nice. Uh, but she's healing Lau now. That's good. Okay. So 
Let's speed this up. Of course, this is the other problem with uh, not actually treating people. That she now now has um, an infection, and those infections are going to cause us all sorts of problems. Which hopefully we'll get around by getting these things treated. But eat your. Where are you now? I've lost you! Lao, where are you? There you are, what are you doing? I'm making cow. Alright, I want the cowboy hat, but after that, you're going to. Back to bed and get your infection treated. Oh, we've got no medicine left. Oh, that's good. I was a little bit worried about that, I must admit. But that's the fun of a, a new colony. Okay, where are you? You like what your health like. So your infections... Okay, you're, you're slowly moving towards new, uh, uh, developing an immunity. We're just going to hope for the best. And that's cotton. Zero gum. Yeah, that's not going to be grown in time, so. A combat supplier. So, let's get. Emmy is going to wear that new new hat there it is and then I want you to contact the trader let's see what we can uh, buy. Uh, combat suppliers do actually sell the cheapest medicine so this is actually quite fortunate for us let's see what we can get rid of let's get rid of that short bow let's get rid of these Molotov cocktails um, gives us a little bit more money. Medicine, yeah, that is probably the best medicine price we're going to find for medicine. So, yeah, ten. That uh, cost us a little bit, but I think we'll be all right there. Uh, let's do this. Yeah. Actually, what I'm thinking about, Emmy, would you go back and call him again? I don't want that incendiary launcher. It's not a good defensive weapon. So we'll sell that, and we shall have another ten of those. There we go. Right. That puts it back in a bit of a better position. Okay, so where are we? Clearing that area out. We're getting some floor down. While I'm thinking about it, let's get some turrets down. So we want one there and one there to start off with. There, there, and go there. And I notice we've got problems with power there. So let's join up the power conduits there. Put that in there. And we can also get away with a little bit of mining, I think. So much for getting this stuff done. All right, so we'll mine out that wall there. A local wild boar has gone mad. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Jump location. Yeah, we'll deal with that when he gets to us. Which is actually going to be that far down the line. Looks like Ben is going to have the fun of that. Who is not armed. So let's go and get you a weapon quickly, Ben. Um, quickly and feel... Actually, what's your gear like? Synthred shirt, synthred trousers. Wear that cloth. Hey, why not? That's where. Why don't you wear that cloth parker as well? Okay, so wear that. Then let's click on you first. Wear cloth parker. And then let's get you here. Draft you first, of course. Get you in there. Let's see what we can do with you. If he just runs straight in, we'll deal with him inside. Now, you're in this as well. 
Melee attack wild boar. Melee attack wild boar. Uh, actually, just fire at the wild boar, would you? Who's shooting? Oh, we, we got it right. Okay, Lau. Back to work. And then. Fire at the ball. Lau, what are you up to? Good, you're out and out of the way. Excellent. Good work. And the ball can go in the pot. There we go. Right. So, how are we doing? We are out of metal, effectively, really, aren't we? So that should be another thing we should do right now. Let's get some mining in. So we'll extend this corridor up. Uh, let's just do it like this for now. Uh, what we'll do eventually is we'll put some walls in and make another set of bedrooms here, but that will do for now. That'll get us through to that metal. That's the important thing. So Ben and Lau have been treated. Excellent. Fox and Spiffy, how are we doing with these guys? So yeah, he's gonna he's gonna come to our side fairly soon. I think we'll get them both soon. So what we actually need to think about here also is bedrooms. So these are all filled up. Let's let's revise these mining orders a little bit. Wall and then one, two, three. That'll be our corridor going down there. And one, two, three, four, five. Like that. And like that. And like that. And get some extra entrances in there. And we'll cancel that there, just neaten things up slightly. See how we go with that. Plenty of food coming in. I don't think the winter is going to be too much of a problem, which is good because we're actually getting down to negative temperatures now. Um, you know, this stuff actually counts as refrigerated out in the open, which is great. Okay, we're, this is probably going to be our last harvest, and I seem to remember there is a bug in this version where they will try to plant stuff even though it will die the next day, so we may need to have to sort that out. So right, we have a new colonist, so let's give you a temporary bedroom, and we'll just turn one of these on for a moment. Uh, set owner, Spiffy. And when you've got a proper room, we'll sort you out properly. And Spiffy, let's have a look at you. Spiffy is a joy wirer. Firefighting is important to me. Let's, let's have you as a backup doctor. That way I don't have to remember to do it. You're not a very good hunter, but you're interested in it. No. And you're fairly good at mining. We don't actually have somebody whose job is mining, and I want a lot of mining at the moment. So let's do that. I'll do those two for those. And we'll just four these. Okay, so Spiffy, when not being a patient or firefighting, is going to do mining. Actually, I just had a thought here. I'm going to try something. Anyone who will clean, let's make it a priority. So in most cases your main job is going to come first but uh, I'd actually like the base to be cleaned before we do anything else I'm just wondering if this will imp go some way to improve morale so right there we go um, actually you're not doing anything that would stop you from being a repair priority person so that's good okay so Spiffy where are you 
there you are mining sandstone oh that's excellent of you but uh, first of all let's have a look at your gear mm. oh you're actually quite well equipped aren't you they just need a weapon by the looks of it what have I got that I can give you the answer which being not a lot we definitely need to pick up some weapons by the looks of it or indeed fa fashion a few Okay, right, moving on. We worry about weapons too much when we start getting attacked again. Important thing for me at the moment is to actually get some of this mining done so we can get some of these resources and, of course, the all important bedrooms. Group is a bulk goods trader. Okay, that's interesting. Emmy. Here we go. Let me have a chat with them. So we got that mind out okay what can we sell you to start off with not a huge amount uh, we can sell off the ball skin I think I will and we'll sell off the beaver skin okay um, let's sell off some wood in fact let's do that let's get ourselves down to a thousand wood and that will give us a bit of extra money, not a huge amount, because wood is cheap. But it will help us on our way. Right, getting there. Seven sixteen. Like that. Okay, that's uh, giving us two hundred and sixty-two to play with. And let's spend it, actually, let's spend that on steel because we are a bit short of it at the moment. Let's get up to 200. There we go. All right, that's going to give us a little bit of help with the uh, uh, construction. And it's only cost us a few to do, so that's not bad itself. And I, I think I'm thinking about it. Bills, add bill, make Parker. On six of those, configuration, use whatever we've got. Okay, excellent. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's get to the storage sorted out in here, shall we? So, zone, stockpile. Stockpile like that. We can do those two squares as well and storage clear all we only want in here uh, none of that um, well, that's it I was unfinished unfinished yep yeah, we'll have the unfinished stuff in here um, Put all the apparel in here, apart from stuff that we know we want to sell. So we want to keep keep that. that. We don't want tribal wear. We don't want that. We don't want jackets. Let's not have jackets. Let's not have button-down shirts. Let's keep t-shirts, trousers, the rest. Okay, so the rest of that will get moved into here, and the stuff that we actually comfortable selling can go. I'm happy with that. And finally. We want leather, and I've not seen leather. Manufactured textiles we want. Yeah, that's got leather in it. Excellent, right, so, and that's important. So that stuff will get moved up into there. That's gonna make working with the cloth and that easier. Sculptor's table, don't wanna use that just yet. And the tall construction bench is not built yet. Right. We're getting there. How's this food going? Out of ideal temperature range. Not growing. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on the limb now and I'm gonna say I think we've got enough food for now, so what we're gonna do is we are going to take these zones out. Uh, well I'm thinking about it though. Actually floors. 
um, wood floor because wood is what we got the most of. So let's put some let's put some flooring around this so we know what we had next time round. Like this. Just up to there, that'll connect up with that. And like that. And whether we use this big field again next time, I don't know, but let's put it in anyway. And it's going to speed things up, make uh, passage through this area a easier as well. So we'll have half a long there, long there, long there. Yeah, that's got a lot of the important stuff pathed out. And we now can quite easily deconstruct these zones. Remove zone. So gray zone. Delete zones, that's what I'm looking for. So we'll get rid of those and we'll get rid of this one. They're not going to help us anymore this year. So they should stay relatively ungrown upon over the winter. And so in the spring we can start planting again. And to keep us going, we've got all that. All this, which we haven't hauled yet and there's still loads of hunting to be done so I think we're going to be good let's still have what we have here actually thinking of hunting um, hunt 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 there we go hunt let's hunt those okay so we are getting close to being ready for winter the big thing we need to do Final task is to get um, some parkers for everyone. All right, we're still short. We're, we're short again of colonist beds, so let's sort this with this out before we uh, uh, end this episode. So let's have a quick look at Fox. Um, what you've got gear-wise? Parker pants shirt. That's excellent, and I don't have a weapon to give you. So we're gonna have to do without that, and what are we gonna do with you? So one that, one that. Not actually a good hunter. Um, let's put you primarily on mining, uh, and we shall three of these, two of those, and backup grower. Like everyone not with a key job you can do repairing and last ditch hunting oh yeah we'll put your cleaning up to one there we go so you're still mining sandstone I can live with that so there we go that's the end of our, our episode we've moved forward we are pretty much very close to winter now and as tradition sakes we are just about to get attacked but this time we're going to be besieged. But that's for next episode. Until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been The Rimworld. Thank you, and good night.